Now we're going to do an ionic compounds project. So you're going to see in the notes, I, I have this. You need to print this off. You may actually need two copies. And you're going to do a little bit of coloring. So I've, I've already done one and cut it up a bit. But basically, all the ones that say plus, you're going to color in in blue. So just color, 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 color the whole square in. All the blue ones, sorry, all the positive ones, you're going to color blue. And it doesn't matter if you go over the line because you're going to cut them out anyway. So you're going to color them in. All the minus ones, you're going to color in red. So that's nice and easy. Red, 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 red. So just color the whole page in. So minus is red and positive is blue. So color in your page. Take your scissors, start cutting them out, which I've already done. And I want to explain what's what. So if I look at my periodic table and I look at chlorine and the ions called chloride, well, the periodic table for this textbook has the non-metals as pink and they have minus charges. So that's why I've picked red or pink for all the minus ones because it matches our periodic table. So the one that just has a one minus on it, that's going to be our chloride ion. Okay, and when we look on our periodic table, it's pink. It says one minus. Now, the one that has two bumps, so chloride is one, so it's one bump. This one has two bumps, okay? it's going to be our oxygen or our oxide ion. If you look at your periodic table, oxygen says two minus on it. So, and it's pink. So we're going to color it in pink or red. Doesn't matter if it's red or pink. You can use a highlighter if you like. Our third one, the one with the one, two, three bumps is going to be our nitrogen. Okay. Or our nitride ion. If you find nitrogen, okay, nitrogen has a three minus and we're coloring it in pink because your textbook for some reason picks pink for uh, the, the non-metals. All right, then there's three more. So we have sodium. Pull this in half so we can see better. So sodium on periodic table is one plus. The metals are colored in blue, and that's why I chose blue as my color. So you color it in blue. So sodium is gonna be my one plus. Magnesium is two plus. So this piece here is gonna be my two pluses. And then finally, aluminum is three plus it's blue so this piece here is going to be three plus so chlorine's the one minus oxygen is the two minus nitrogen is the three minus sodium is one plus magnesium is two plus aluminum is three plus just so you know which pieces are which so once you've cut all your pieces out this is where the fun project starts you're going to take two pieces of paper Two blank pieces of paper put them side by side and just kind of tape them together what i'm looking for is one giant piece of paper all right so just get two pieces of paper get some tape tape them side by side so essentially you have a double giant piece of paper because we just need a big piece of paper so i put tape on one side and then we're going to do our work on the opposite side so we just tape it all right Turn that over with a ruler so it looks all nice and pretty. Um, draw a line about, I'd say about two centimeters from the top all the way across. So we just draw a line all the way across. And then on the right hand side, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a line. Give yourself maybe a little bit more room. I'm going to make it maybe uh, three, four centimeters all the way down. So we're going to write some words there. Okay. What we want are actually three columns and three rows in the middle section. So I'm just going to kind of divide this up into three big sections. So one, two, three. So I'm going to draw a line, probably about there, all the way across. There's my first section. And I'm going to draw another one about halfway, about right there. There's my next section. All right. And then I want three columns as well. So that'll probably be about one. 
And we'll have another one over here. Okay, next thing I want you to do is I want you to write down the ions. So on the top, we're going to put our negative ions. So the first one's going to be chloride. So you write down chloride. And it is a one minus. In the middle, we're going to have oxide. And oxide is a two minus. The third one is nitride. And nitride is three minus. So make sure you write that down. We also colored those ones in in red. So I actually want you to take your red or your pink and just color that in in red and pink. Your choice. Okay, so on the left-hand side, we're going to put our other three ions. Lost my pencil. All right, sodium okay, was our one plus. So we write down sodium, one plus. Underneath it was magnesium. And magnesium was two plus, and the third one was aluminum. And aluminum was three plus. And because those are the blue pieces, I want you to take your blue pencil crayon and color them in blue. Mrs. Mernick is an expert color, as you can see here. Hopefully you can do a better job. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our little pieces and build our compounds. So the sodium was my little blue one that was plus one, and my chlorine was my negative one, my pink one that was negative one. And what I want you to do is make a rectangle out of them. So it has to make a rectangle. So this one's easy. If I put one sodium and one chlorine together, I get a rectangle. So you're just going to take your glue, put a little glue on the one, put a little glue on the other one, and we're done as far as gluing for that one. So the next thing I need you to do is write down the name. Well, this is sodium chloride. You always say the name of the metal first. And it took one sodium and one chloride to make a rectangle. So in my formula, I only need one sodium and one chloride to make the rectangle. So that's the formula. The other thing you need to do is write out the name. So the name is sodium chloride. Now the chloride, I need enough space there, it's two words. You don't need a capital on the chloride. You don't need the capital on the chloride, but it's sodium chloride is the name of it. All right, so that one was nice and easy, but some of them are a little tricky. For instance, aluminum and oxygen. So let's look at that one next. So aluminum is this blue three plus one. Oxygen is the two minus, the red one that's two minus. And when I put those two together, what I see that happens is I don't get a rectangle. So what I need is another oxygen. And when I put the new oxygen in, well, I still don't get a rectangle. So I'm missing a little piece here. So I need another aluminum. So I put the new aluminum in and I still don't have a rectangle. So I'm gonna need another oxygen. And then finally, when I put this oxygen in, I get a complete rectangle. So in order for this chemical reaction to take place, I need two of these three plus aluminums and three of these two minus oxygens for this actually works. So we need to glue those down, okay? Then write down the name. So aluminums, I have two of them. So it's Al2 and oxygens, I have three. So it'll be O3. And then the name is aluminum oxide. And you write out the name. So for all of them, you need to glue the pieces in. You need to write down the formula and the name. If you're having trouble understanding this, um, just 
Go on the Teams today after lunch, and I will talk to you face to face and answer any of your questions. So this is a project that's due Monday in class. So you have the today to work on it, and you have the weekend to work on it, and then I want you to physically bring it to class on Monday.